वेलकम टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सीक्वेंस जनरेटर इन दिस वीडियो सो हियर आई गिव यू वन सीक्वेंस एंड दैट इज वॉट वी आर डिल टू जनरेट इट बाई हैविंग शिफ्ट रजिस्टर सो लेट मी गिव यू क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट सो हियर क्वेश्चन इज टू जनरेट सीक्वेंस ऑफ वन वन जीरो जीरो वन जीरो एंड वेन एवर यू वॉन्ट टू जनरेट एनी सीक्वेंस फर्स्ट वी नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई how many minimum flip flops are required right so to identify minimum number of flip flops there is one basic condition let me mention that condition first so to identify minimum number of flip flops to generate given sequence basic condition is l is equals to 2 to the power l is less than or equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 where l is length of the sequence and n is number of flip flops and this is what explaining you minimum number of flip flop right so if you place data over here so you can clearly observe we have sequence 110010 so total 6 bits are there in this sequence so l is equals to 6 less than or equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 if you take minus 1 over this side so 6 plus 1 that should be less than or equal to 2 to the power n and if you place this value over here then you see for seven representation with less than or equal to 2 to the power n we should be having n is equals to 3 then only we can have minimum number of flip flops which is 3 right now once we have three minimum flip flops we need to provide this data to shift register so let us consider we have three flip flops and those flip flops are a b and c now with this flip flop the sequence which we have is 110010 so the sequence with a is 110011 Zero. See, this is what the sequence which is there with A. Now, when this sequence is shifting with B, there will be one bit delay. So this one will come over here. This one will come over here. This zero will come over here. This zero will come over here. This one will come over here, and this zero that will get shifted over here. Now, with this C, again shifting will happen. so this zero that will come here this one will shifted here this one will shifted here this zero will shifted here and this zero will shifted here and this one that will come here so this is how we have a b and c now here we need to identify whether any state is getting repeated or not so if you observe 101 so this 101 that is not there in this other state now let us check it for 110 so 110 that is even not there in this now 011 so 011 is even not there now 001 so that is even not getting repeated 100 so that is not even the case which is repeated over here and then 010 so that is even not repeated so here we can say no state is repeating so we don't need to add any additional flip flop over here if any state is getting repeated then you will have to add one more flip flop over here but here no state is getting repeated so we don't need any flip flop over here right so now these are sufficient flip flop and we need to have resultant feedback so feedback that is even a shifted version of last flip flop so this one that will get shifted here this zero this one this one and this zero and this zero that will come over here so that is how feedback is there now we need to solve this feedback right so this feedback f is having input a b and c now if you place this data right so 101 1. so 1 0 and then 1 so over here this f is 0 now this is 1 1 0 so 1 1 0 so 
so f is 1 then you see 0 1 1 so at that location f is 0 so 0 1 1 now 0 0 1 so at that location it is 1 so 0 0 1 then 1 0 0 so at that location it is 1 1 0 0 now at 0 1 0 it is 0 so 0 1 0 it is 0 and these states are not defined so I need to say this is don't care right now we need to simplify this f feedback so here to simplify this feedback f I think we should consider this group so which will cover this two one so this feedback f that is this is c bar and over here a is common so c bar a plus to cover this one we should consider this group so this is having a bar b bar so this is my feedback f which is c bar a plus a bar b bar right now we'll make a circuit so here in this circuit as i have explained there are total three flip flops so here we have flip flop a here we have flip flop b and here we have flip flop c and with all these three flip flop we have common clock connection right so here i am considering positive age trigger common clock and that is applied simultaneously means this is what synchronized common clock right now see this is my input da this is db and this is dc and my output is a a bar b b bar and c c bar now see as i have told you this is what application of shift resistor and this is what we have made it from shift resistor only so this a is connected to this this b is connected to this and this c that is what our output of flip flop c right so this is how we have shift resistor now here we need to make feedback so feedback is available over here you see this is my feedback f now that is what c bar a plus a bar b bar so we can make this by one or gate first so you see i am connecting one or gate over here and that is having two inputs this is one product so that is what i am connecting it with and gate and this is second product that is even i am connecting with and gate now with and gate we wanted to have c bar a so here one input is c bar and one input is a and with this and gate we wanted to have a bar b bar so one input is a bar and one input is b bar so if you connect these terminals over here you can see we can have this feedback and as per this feedback this circuit that will be generating sequence of 110010 right so here see in sequence generator there are few points that we need to understand see first point that is to identify minimum number of flip flops and that is what we can identify by having l should be less than or equal to 2 to the power n minus 1 so here we will be having minimum number of flip flop then we need to make a table of state where a b c three flip flops are there and sequence is 110010 and as it is there with shift resistor here i am shifting this data like this right and in closed loop it is there and after a b c you will have to check whether state is getting repeated or not 
once you identify state is not getting repeated we need to find feedback and then we need to solve it by having k map if state is getting repeated then we need to add one more flip flop if here we have seen that state is getting repeated in that case i would have added flip flop d over here and then i need to repeat this till we don't have repetition of states so here f is c bar a plus a bar b bar as per this came up solution and then i need to make shift register first and then in this shift register this is what feedback that i need to connect as per this boolean expression and you can see one more video which i have made it with sequence generator where as i have told you if state is getting repeated then how we need to add one more flip flop that is what i have explained in that video so you just see that video that will improve your understanding bit more i hope that you have understood this video